Painting a mural is like starting a garden. You take a small seed, learn an idea, you nurture it, expand on it by brainstorming all the details that could go in from your imagination and the things that resonate with you. And then you seek references. A mural tells a story and you sketch it out. This can take a few days or even a couple of weeks as it takes time for all those good ideas to build, form and sediment into a complete story. Say you want an underwater scene, or a forest, or a crystal cave, a train mural, or a cosmic fantasy mural. Well, you'll need this cosmic skyscape. Let me tell you my sources of inspiration so you get a better idea of my thought process. I'm in awe of the magnificence and exuberance of the cosmos and I'm going to share with you some golden words from one of the greatest people of our Earth, Carl Sagan. We on Earth marvel, and rightfully so, at the daily return of our single sun. But from a planet orbiting a star in a distant globular cluster, a still more glorious dawn awaits. Not a sunrise, but a galaxy rise. A morning filled with 400 billion suns. The rising of the Milky Way. An enormous spiral form with collapsing gas clouds, condensing planetary systems, luminous supergiants, stable middle-aged stars, red giants, white dwarfs, planetary nebulas, supernovas, neutron stars, black holes, and there is every reason to think other exotic objects that have not yet been discovered. So we have our lower setting, our dune populated alien planet with rust colored sand, magical healing crystals, maybe even mushrooms and sand dwelling creatures, and a higher consciousness disguised in the form of a native, who perched atop a long lost astronaut's helmet, perhaps from a nearby planet create smaller universes rippling through space and time at a different scale, constantly transforming, shifting, flowing. Meanwhile, the cosmos is rich beyond measure. The total number of stars in the universe is greater than all the grains of sand on all the beaches on the planet Earth. She creates worlds and universes the play of life. So you create the overall composition and figure out where to put all those juicy details in your painting. Now's the time to make a choice and determine what you think will look best for your space and your wall. Give yourself a few choices and ask for feedback from your roommates if you have any and don't get too detailed at this stage. Here Think of the color scheme and get more detailed and think of all the textures, patterns, lights and shadows in your painting. Where's your light sources coming from? Remember that color influences your mood. In the future I'll make a video that focuses solely on color because it's a topic in of itself. Keep in mind the dimensions of the wall, you're going to translate your composed sketch to the wall with an easy grid system if you convert inches on paper to feet on wall. This will ensure that the composition and the relationships of the different elements look the same. I wasn't physically able to show you in this video, but I'll show you next week how to do the grid transfer to the wall, which is also when we'll finally get to painting our mural. So get your colors and supplies ready and let's do this in the next video. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and click that notification bell so you never miss out on the new videos when they come out. Bye!